Hey there, CPO here, and this video is going to be an answer to probably the most requested bit of information I've ever had on my Jeep, and that is how I wired my third brake light. Uh, this is the way I did it. There's a lot of ways to do this. Um, it's all limited to your own creativity and whatever materials and supplies you might have on hand. The way I did mine is with these uh, wheel dust shields. This is a 15 inch dust shield that had uh, a five by five bolt pattern, uh, which would fit my tire carrier. Um, I've seen people use uh, you know, bucket tops or any other things. Uh, the brake shield was easy, but you know, whatever you wanna use that will fit will work. Um, for the lighting, I use these three quarter inch LED marker lights uh, these were uh, supposedly made in the USA. I got a bundle of 10 of them. I'm using eight for my particular application because I've got eight holes in my rims. Now, the most challenging part is probably just figuring out uh, how to lay the light so that they're equally distributed uh, in the rim. The way I chose to do that was to um, calculate the circumference of this particular uh, brake dust cover and then basically divide it by eight so that I ended up with eight uh, equal sections of that circumference. So about 13 centimeters is where I made each mark and what that's gonna give me is eight equally distributed lights um, around the circumference. And uh, there we go, I have my marks. Then the next thing I wanted to do was go ahead and uh, find the center. Uh, I'm gonna put it on the outside edge of this brake dust cover so I just found the center of each of those marks and the dust cover is really flimsy, uh, thin material. And you'll see that whenever I use this uh, hole punch to uh, make my uh, holes uh, for drilling. Uh, it's super, super soft. And in hindsight, you know, I'm not really thrilled with how that worked out. I mean, I almost would rather, you know, use a, uh, another piece of flat plastic or something like that. But hey, I had this. Um, and it worked. So uh, I made all of my holes um, for where I was going to drill and then eventually I went down and just kind of flattened out this whole thing because uh, it's like I said it's really flimsy material uh, but it doesn't really matter and in the end result you can't tell at all. Um, but that's what it looked like and then the next thing I needed to do was go drill uh, my eight three-quarter inch uh, holes. And uh, the more precise you get those, the better, because these LEDs have grommets that are going to fit in, and you can see how this works. Um, and everything is sort of pressed into place, so it has to fit snug to, uh, to hold properly. But I will say, once you get them pressed in, uh, they don't go anywhere. So that's a good thing. And that's how the light fits in. And uh, I'll just put in uh, the other seven of those. And bam, there you go. That's what it looks like before I complete the wiring. Now, when I did the wiring, uh, before I soldered everything up, I did a test fit to make sure um, everything was exactly the way I wanted it. Uh, but I didn't do video of soldering the wires, but I did solder. Use whatever method you want, but make sure it's going to be waterproof and vibration resistant. I bundled the lights into groups of four and uh, and soldered them together and then took the two bundles and then soldered those together. Uh, additionally, um, I had to figure out how to tap into the third brake light circuit. Now there is already a third brake light wire coming out of the uh, tailgate and what I did is just trace those wires uh, in the harness that goes back into the main vehicle uh, and figured out which two of those wires um, I needed to use. All right, so here is the final sort of assembly. And basically, hopefully you can see, I have all eight of the LEDs wired. And basically they're wired in parallel, so it's probably hard to tell from here, but all the blacks are connected together and all of the whites are connected together and they terminate here in this plug. This is a actually a fairly high amperage uh, capable plug but it's a just a couple plugs I had uh, on hand from my RC stuff. I wanted the ability to disconnect should for whatever reason I need to remove this and then it would just come off and unplug here. 
Since I've made this video, I did switch to these waterproof uh, plugs, which I think are a much better option. Now this is running back along here. What I needed was a way to have the tire carrier open and close without having a whole bunch of cable hanging out. And then additionally, <laughs> wanted to be able to open it all the way without uh, you know being tethered to the tailgate. So um, the original wire for the third brake light came out here. That's no longer there. This is the new wire I have running. And I actually have it going underneath this up into here and I'm literally tapped into the third brake light wiring which is the same wiring that actually goes into the tailgate and comes over here comes over here for the third brake light so I still have it I just uh, tied it up here and covered it up so it's out of the way but still 100% functional and I could easily pop it back through the tailgate if I want to go back to stock. Uh, but that's basically the wire that I uh, just use some quick uh, taps here. And it's the white and gray wire and a gray wire. And quite frankly, I don't remember which one was positive and which one was negative, but uh, when you get it wired up, it will only work one way. So uh, these LEDs uh, don't work backwards, so I just used uh, a test one to figure out if I need to black or white connected to which wire. And that's it. So um, let me put the tire on. I'll show you how it all works. So that's it. That's how I wired my third brake light on my 2015 JKU. It's held up really well, and I'm very happy with it. Since uh, I did this, I've also relocated my license plate to uh, the center of the spare tire, and it still looks really cool. Uh, I think, with the red LEDs surrounding the license plate when the brake is applied. So that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.